What's up, YouTube? Dandy B and H guy. Today's Friday. I got the day off from work. Um, let's go back to the Goodwill Hudson, New Hampshire. I spent $119, and that's after the discount. I found a ton of good stuff today, guys. So uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> got some clothing. First up is this Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee, now in bottle T-shirt. Um, I've sold Dunkin' Donuts t-shirts before. They sell really good. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get at least 20 bucks for this, guys. And that's the size 2XL. So, fantastic size right there. Next up is this... My Heart Belongs to 87. Rob Gronkowski long sleeve t-shirt. And I don't buy too many, you know, normal Patriots t-shirts unless they're special. And I haven't seen anything like this. Um, this is a 2XL. So hopefully I can get about $23 to $24 for this, guys. Hall of Fame, future Hall of Fame player right there. Um, this right here is not a good brand. It's called Pride's Landing. But um, I bought it because of the... Uh, the graphic of all the fish and fish on this guys it's got all different types of fish um, saltwater fish I believe so uh, this definitely stands out hopefully I can get about 23 bucks for this like I said not the best brand but if it's some special um, special print like that you know it's a uh, Double-sided print, all-over print. This is 2XL, so it's a good size. So hopefully you get about $23, $24, $25 for that, guys. <clears throat> right here is a Nike T Dry Fit Boston Red Sox t-shirt. So Nike Dry Fit Boston Red Sox. You can't go wrong, guys. And I think this one's in really good shape. I don't think there's any pilling on this one. And um, that's the size extra large. So another good size right here, guys. Hopefully get about 24, 25 bucks for that. This here is a Nike Dry Fit. Um, it says RPF on the front. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know what it is. But it's a Nike dry fit, it's embroidered, it's got that patch, it's got a couple small snags on the shirt, front and back. It's got a little bit of pilling, but uh, nothing too, too bad. I think somebody will still pick this up. So hopefully I get about 21 bucks for this, guys. This here is a brand I never heard before, but I looked it up and um, there's some good sales. This is called um, Ivory Ella. Ivory Ella long sleeve t-shirt, size extra large. It's got an elephant on it. This is definitely men's size extra large. Uh, this might even be a 2XL. This thing's pretty big. So uh, hopefully I get about 25 bucks for this, guys. It's in really good shape. Next is this Under, uh, Under Armour Heat Gear Men's um, Freedom Wounded Warrior Project T-shirt. And I just noticed it's got a stain on the front. So I'm going to have to pre-treat that. I didn't see the stain when I bought it. But I think I can get that out. Hopefully that's not blood. I got a shirt right now that I'm trying to get a blood stain out. But um, I'm not having any luck with that. I'm going to have to try some different techniques on it. So I'm going to put this over here. So I want to pre-treat that shirt. I got a couple of these shirts, guys. They're both the same shirt, but I think they're different sizes. This is Boston Harley Davidson um, staff t-shirts. So let's get the cool color on the back, cool graphic on the back. And they're, they're bright orange, so they're not black. The black is the most common. So black doesn't sell the best, but these are the ones that sell pretty good. 
I have to look them up. I don't know what they're worth, but um, that's a large. And this one right here, I think, is a medium. Yep, this one's a medium. Same kind of shirt, guys. So I picked those up. Those are pretty cool. This here is a bread and butter, guys. This is a Life is Good golfing t-shirt. That's Jake on the front. And this is a size extra large. Great shape. Hopefully get about 20 bucks for this, guys. This here was a good find. It's got a stain, but I think I can get it out. This is a vintage uh, champion men's sleeveless tank top muscle shirt. It's got the old uh, champion tag. Um, it's got a small stain on the front. I'm going to try to get that out. Hopefully get about 25 bucks for this, guys. Yeah, I got a couple stains on the front, but they don't look too bad. Um, I got some other shirts right here that are wrapped up in coffee mugs. I mean, the coffee mugs are wrapped up in the shirts. The, that way, right? This right here, guys, this is a Nike. I'm not sure if it's vintage, but it's got a crazy pattern. This is a tank top. It says it's an extra large, but that's definitely not a men's extra large. It might be a woman's extra large. It's got a really cool pattern on it. And this might be vintage, guys. So, um, hopefully between 25 to 28 bucks for this, I'm hoping. I thought that was pretty neat. Get another shirt here. Um, this is not the best brand, but I got it for the print. This is Izod Salt Water Relaxed Classics Men's Button Front Shirt. It's like a camp shirt, but it's got a nice uh, sailboat pattern front and back. Hopefully, get about twenty-three bucks for this, guys. Size large. Um, I found this really cool hat. I gotta look it up. This is Boston Bruins 2019 Winter Classic Notre Dame Stadium hat winter hat so it's got it's embroidered front and back and it's from the winter classic guys um, I don't even know what brand this is this is by athletic pro fanatics so fanatics is a good brand NHL um, I bet you this hat's gonna go for some good money guys I gotta look it up but um, it's from the winter classic so hopefully I get about 30 bucks for that, at least. Really good shape. That's the Fanatics logo right there, guys. So that was nice. Um, this is one of the coolest t-shirts I've found in a long time right here, guys. This is a vintage single stitch Screen Stars. Screen Stars. Happy Halloween t-shirt Halloween's coming up guys 